This massage gun from Duace not only looks unique and has some unique heads, but also has some EMS pads, electronic muscle stimulation pads, which allows you to not only recover faster, but also build that muscle quickly, especially after surgeries or a major injury to get you back going quickly. So let's take a look. Now let's check out this case and just to be very clear, they did send me this massage gun for free and they asked to see the video before, but I had the requirement of the only thing you can do is give me feedback on anything I messed up on statistically, any facts or anything like that. The opinion has to be 100% my own for my channel, just to make that very clear. Now let's jump over so you can see what's in this box. Now, the, the massage gun obviously is not very small. In fact, let me grab, here's the OE Pro massage gun. Um, you may have seen my live stream on that. If not, go check that out, the Next Pro. Uh, but this is a pretty big, small massage gun <laughs> for what it's worth. And this thing just still dwarfs it. Now you do get 20 of these EMS pads, which are also reusable. We're gonna get, get to that more in a minute here. But you just peel that off, stick it on, keep these plastic pieces so when you're done using it, you can wash it off put that back on and you can keep reusing them. In fact, I haven't even gone through one set of pads yet after using it off and on for a few, what, two, three different weeks now, okay? You get a nice manual, which has a lot of information and even some tips on how to use this massage gun because it has a lot of features and even some replacement gaskets for those heads. So like right here, this is a rubber seal and it comes with what, one, two, three, four, five, four different replacement seals. So that's pretty nice. To be honest, I have never had a massage gun seal go bad on me, but just to be clear, I've also used 50, 60 different massage guns. So I wouldn't say that I've also used one, except for maybe the Bob and Brad Q2 with a ton of use, okay? So keep that in mind. Nice touch that you get this replacement cover. And, you know, so, Moving on, you do get this massage gun head, and this is the ball, I should say. And then you also get this unique double ball, which I've never really seen before. Um, in fact, I think Theragun has something very similar to that, but I've never used one, I should say. This is the first one I've had in my studio. And then we have the blade, which I really love for my T bands. We have the fork. Uh, this one is supposed to kind of simulate a thumb getting push, you know, push down in there. It has a little notches on it. Um, pretty unique and kind of more of just a, you know, trigger point or a fine point head there, almost like a bullet point. Um, this is kind of a, you know, <laughs> reverse curve, <laughs> reverse circle. Um, you know, what what's the difference between this and a flat head? Not really sure, but maybe just to kind of rock through there. And then this one helps kind of wrap around certain muscle groups. Um, you, you know, definitely some unique heads here. And then obviously the bullet point and flat head. Okay. Now, one thing I will point out is the fact that it also has, you know, a standard size head. What do I mean by that? That means I can take a massage gun like the Sport Near, take any of these heads and put it in there and now I can use this massage gun. So I know a lot of people have multiple massage guns like me, and you know if you find that interesting, the fact that you can use these multiple heads on your other massage guns, if they have the standard head size, then you know it's not gonna work with the Theragun or anything like that, but more of a standard size massage gun, you can use these heads as well, which is kind of nice. Now I will also say, you know, I mean, the difference between this, this, you know, these two, you're not going to really notice much of a difference there, right? Because they're both kind of more of a fine point. Yes, this one's a little broader, but you know, these are pretty much the same and these pretty much all do the same purpose. I'm not sure exactly when I'd choose this one over this one, you know, maybe it spreads out a little bit over that, you know, muscle, but I mean, ultimately, uh, what I'm trying to say is, you know, some of these are somewhat gimmicky because, I mean, even the double head, um, I haven't found a great use for this outside of it just being kind of unique. This ball is actually massive, more than the normal size ball head. 
Um, and then you do get the fork and the blade, which I've pointed out before, I do like the blade, especially using it on my IT band or kind of scraping down a muscle. So we do have nine heads in total and they all kind of come in this nice little carrying bag, which is pretty nice. And you know, even has their branding on there, which I can appreciate. And you know, this is a, a durable bag. It's not some cheap crappy bag, I'll say. So that, I mean, I do appreciate when, you know, a company actually goes above and beyond and can include that. And you know, if you've been around my channel for a little while, you know that how I use a massage gun is generally take it, throw it in my backpack, and grab a few heads, maybe one or two, or just put one on there actually. Um, but I do kind of appreciate this bag considering I might not want to carry this massive bag around because this would hardly even fit in most backpacks, I'll say that. It's kind of a massive book size, okay? So keep that in mind, kind of nice having this little bag and attachment. And we also have you know, that space for the ball head here and a charger. Speaking of charge, this battery is 2,500 milliamps. Uh, there's actually four different battery cells in there, which actually lasts you um, up to like 10 hours because you do have your power button, a mode button, and then your power levels. Now, there, again, there's multiple modes because we have that EMS, okay? so. Just kind of giving you a walkthrough of this massage gun. Everything seems to be pretty, pretty build quality. It seems to be decent. You know, it's, it is somewhat hollow, um, but it has some heft to it, um, especially around, you know, this is where the motor is and this um, seems to be mostly empty. Uh, it almost seems like they could have packed a lot more, maybe batteries in here or, different things, but maybe then it would be kind of too heavy to lug around. Also, one really cool feature is the fact that because the batteries are kind of bigger, you can actually plug in a USB-C or USB cable to charge like your phone, for instance, when you're <laughs> using the massage gun. Maybe you got an extensive massage session that <laughs> your phone's dying on you. So if that's ever a problem, hey, you got a backup battery here uh, using your massage gun. So what happens if you charge your massage gun from itself? Does that mean infinite power? Maybe, I never tried that out. So before we move on to the massage gun piece, let's talk about the EMS, the electronic muscle stimulation. Now again, just like the where that USB port was, we have you know the USB-C charge cable, which is how we charge the massage gun, and then two you know, eighth inch jacks, which look like headphone jacks, but that's for the EMS pads. These are the pads, and as you see at the other end, there is what looks to be a headphone jack. Obviously, it's not a headphone jack, and it only has, um, you know, one notch instead of a couple notches. So how, how does this work? Well, let me, let me show you. So you come over here, you plug in your cable, right? Boom. There we go. And then when you power it on, it has multiple modes, okay? So here is, here's the power levels or the modes. And this is, well, this is battery, <laughs> this is level and battery life right now because we are on massage, okay? See if I can get that dialed in. This is massage mode. So this is like the massage gun, okay? So when you first power it on, you're on mode massage. So now as I increase intensity here, right? So here's my battery life and level of massage gun. I know I said I'm not going to do massage gun stuff yet, but I just kind of want to show you that. Okay. But then if I push this again, push and hold, boom. Now it shows EMS and it shows output host. What does output host mean? Well, that means you also get these little grips here. Okay, so not only can you put these pads on, you can also have the EMS pass through the hand grips. And maybe you've seen these type of grips like on, uh, you know, cardio machines to kind of test heart rate. Very similar type of feel. Um, it's just that kind of polished metal that, uh, you know, you can feel. But w once you hook this up to this, I mean, you start to feel it. And it's kind of a weird feeling. Now, before I even get into this, there's a few disclaimers. Make sure you read through all the disclaimers here because 
I, I mean, especially if you have a pacemaker or anything like that, you do not want any kind of electrodes going through your body, electric pulses, because that could stop your heart. I'm assuming I'm, I mean, I don't, I'm no doctor, but, um, I know enough that you don't want to risk that. Okay. So, you know, maybe even check with your doctor to make sure, but, um, you know, it's one of those disclaimers they have to put out there and they have it all in the massage in the book there for you. So, uh, jumping back over here. So now that we're on EMS, these are the lights for the battery there. So you can see even when you're on EMS, even though your battery levels aren't showing here, you do get battery levels there. We're on output host. Now, if you only want it to be on these electrodes here, you hold it again and now it will jump over to just output. Okay. So it's not just output and host. It's just output which are these pads. Okay. And again, you get 20 of these things. That's pretty incredible. I'm going to come over here so you can see, and let's go. I'm going to go on either side of my muscle here. And you'll kind of see what it does. I'm going to put one here. Also, you want to make sure you're not really wearing any kind of uh, jewelry or anything like that, because that will also, have an effect on, you know, if you pass metal uh, current through that metal, you're going to feel that as well. So what I'm, what I'm doing here is I just want to make sure you, you can obviously see what's happening. And I know from the fact that what this does is makes your muscles fire, right? So if I'm putting it here and here, what's going to happen is my muscles going to fire like this right? Because it's my, it's, it's the muscles, it, you know, how the muscles all connect and, um, it's going to be sending the pulses. So here we go. Let's jump over to here. I got it on the output. We got it on level one. So mode one. Okay. So here's the other thing. There's, there's so many options with this thing. Okay. They have five different modes. Okay. Right. So this is the mode. <laughs> and now rather than pushing and holding the mode button, I'm just tapping the mode button. Which mode do I want? I want to do the heavy exercise, baby. So here we go. I just powered it on again. Hit mode. We're on EMS and output. I want just the output. Hold it again. Boom. Now we're on just the output. Now I want mode five So I t or mode three, which is heavy exercise. So I press mode mode or on mode three. Okay. So now I got these pads on dual padding. <laughs> now I fire this up to level one. Okay. And here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to, I'm going to bump it up to level six and watch this. I am not moving my arms. Okay. See if I can even set these down. Um, <laughs> it's such a weird feeling, but I am not controlling. Can I fight? I can fight it a little bit, you know, um, obviously, but what this is doing is obviously firing my muscles. Doctors use these physical therapists use these, um, to fire the muscles that aren't firing anymore. Right? So once you get an injury, let me turn this <laughs> so crazy. Uh, and TENS is very similar, um, to EMS if you've ever used a TENS unit, but basically, you know, if you get injured, for instance, I fell off my bike and landed, <laughs> I was riding down a log, flipped over, landed right here on my back. Right. And basically what happened was I, I thought I like really messed up my shoulder cause I couldn't even lift my arm above here. Long story short couple years later, like I just could not, every time I'd use this too much, it would really start to act up. So this is something I could have used back here to kind of help fire those muscles again. Cause what was happening was it was not firing back there properly anymore because I had to overcompensate because this arm wouldn't work properly. So then you're negating that and overcompensating right with all your other muscles. Okay. That's, that's just kind of a generalization of why our bodies are brilliant to be able to overcompensate and save that muscle when it's hurt. But then how do you get it to fire again? That's what these can be great for. 
and or you're recovering from knee surgery and now you have uh, hypertrophy, um, no atrophy, sorry, <laughs> atrophy of your muscles that you haven't been using because you've been in a massive leg brace. So now your muscles have shrunk, right? So this is one way you can use to get those muscles firing again without using heavy weights and all that. Okay. So that's kind of a generalization of how this system can be used. And they even use some tips in the book. As I mentioned, to put these pads back on, it's no big deal. I would normally wash these down, but because I'm in my studio, I'm just gonna do this real quick. So again, another way to just use this is as I hold the mode button, let's say you're out at the gym and you did not bring these EMS pads with you, you can have it on output and host, but you know, you have this closed up so you don't have anything plugged in. So now as I bump up to mode three and I bump this up to level seven, now if I hold onto here, I feel that passing through my arms, right? And that's where you gotta make sure, you know, obviously the current's passing from my left arm all the way through to my right arm, and creating that connection. So that's why you gotta make sure that, you know, pacemaker or jewelry or anything like that, that current's also potentially gonna pass through there. So I just showed you doing it on my forearm and um, I actually tried various positions on my forearm and I think that's actually been helping me with my tendonitis. I have pretty bad tendonitis in my forearms, um, both sides because, um, you know, golfer's elbow, tennis elbow, um, because I do American Ninja Warrior training. So I'm constantly hanging and anything like that. So if I don't do a proper warm up, which is very hard when, uh, you know, you're, you're pushing 40 years old and you're training with the younger guys and you're running late because you kind of want to meet and greet people and then you jump into the workout. I got all kinds of excuses for not doing a proper warm up, but don't do it. Do a proper warm up, otherwise you pay for it. But thankfully, there's devices like this and I even had other videos on how I kind of helped with that with massage guns. So I think I have seen a benefit from using the EMS system around my forearms to kind of help build that when I'm not working out. And I don't know, lately I haven't noticed it as much. Is that why? Maybe I'm doing better warm ups, but also the manual has some great tips on how to use the EMS system, where to maybe place some pads for different muscle groups. So gonna wanna check that one out, depending on where your muscles are that you wanna work on. So that was kind of a brief overview of this EMS pad system. Um, I hope that was helpful, but let's check in to see if it's actually worth it from a massage gun standpoint, right? Because there's no sense in buying one of these massive massage guns for just EMS, because there's other devices out there that can do EMS that are much smaller than this. But when it's kind of a duo combo, like recovery kit, that's pretty cool. So from a massage gun standpoint, remember when you first turn that on, you know, you got the battery life and you got your massage or your battery life and your uh, massage gun level because it says massage. And again, you press and hold the mode button and that's when it changes to the EMS for the output and host or push and hold again. You just got the output, push and hold again. We go back to massage. Now that's when we hit the plus and minus and we're gonna get the different levels of massage gun. Now, amplitude, how far this head is traveling back and forth. This massage gun has 12 millimeters. That's pretty, like right in the middle, standard, average, if you will. Um, 12 millimeters is right there. That's where the hypervolt is. And it does have 20 different speeds. Now, that's getting a little carried away. I'm gonna just kind of go through them so you can kind of hear how loud it is. Now. I, just to be clear, I have a microphone right here, okay? Pointed right at it, so, I mean, it's gonna be picking up quite a bit of noise here, but uh, I would rate this at medium noise level, maybe a little loud, um, but I, I would say about medium noise compared to other massage guns I have used. But I'm gonna go through these so you can see. So that's level four, and you can kinda watch it as it jumps up there. The speeds range from 1800 RPMs all the way up to 4,000. I'm just gonna try jumping up there and you can push and hold and it climbs up there. So now you can kind of hear it's getting pretty loud. Obviously when I start applying some pressure, it's gonna get loud too. Now this is rated at 30 pounds of stall force they said. 
Um, and I mean, I hate I hate stall force measurements from companies because I, I feel like they're all flawed. <laughs> I, I'm not sure what how they're measuring it, but uh, again, I would probably rate this as a medium massage gun level. I mean, it's it's not a super strong massage gun, which is you know semi disappointing because this thing is pretty big. So I was kind of expecting. Um, a massive motor in there that would be strong and powerful um, but it is strong enough to do the job but not quite up to like the highest ranking ones okay so don't discredit this one it is strong enough to do the job especially with you know you get that thumb or that bullet point uh, you know head on these massage guns and they can dig in now the different grip positions they can kind of be nice when you want to dig into that hip right um, obviously it makes it a little more challenging though you may saw me when I dig into my form this is not as you know convenient and I can't just hold it one arm like this very well unless I'm off to an angle or something like that so um, this grip is kind of a unique grip right so sometimes it's beneficial maybe if you're working on someone or something like that, but they've almost sacrificed the ability to use one hand on a massage gun. Now I will credit them for moving the buttons off to the side. At first I thought, why is this not symmetrical? That bothers me that it's not symmetrical with the buttons way over to the one side, but they're brilliant because if they were in the middle, your hands would have been hitting them, or if they were touch buttons like some massage guns have, you would have been touching them when you did this. So Kudos to them for thinking of the buttons off to the side, but the downside being, you know, as you are using it one hand, it is kind of hard to shift over and reach those buttons um, to change the levels or anything like that. So uh, let me know what questions you have on this massage gun. I know there's a lot to cover for this massage gun, uh, but if you're looking for some kind of EMS system with a massage gun, with some unique heads and a pretty affordable price, around $100, a little more maybe. Um, that's pretty fantastic if you ask me. Now, again, I did leave a code down below that they gave me. I'm not sure how long it's going to last, but it will give you a little discount and it does give me a little kickback, but please only use that if you think that this is the right massage gun for you. I do not want to push a product that I don't think can be right for someone. And this one has some unique features that could be perfect for you. So hope that helps. Any questions, please leave them down in the comments down below and check out some of my other videos if you find my channel helpful. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your support. Till next time. See ya.